Welcome to the fourth video on the Comprehensible Reading series, where we try to read as much as we can in less than 10 minutes. So let's start the timer and see how much we can learn in this video. So last time we saw Bulma arriving home, and now we have here Goku, and he says, Mira, esa es la casa del maestro Roshi. Mira is the command word for look. He's like, look, mira. Esa, that thing that is fine, which is female, He's talking about the house, la casa. Mira esa es la casa. Look, that is the house of Maestro Roshi. Maestro Roshi is the old guy from Kami House. In the next section, Por ningún motivo dejaré que te escapes, Kakaroto. By no means, by any motive. So no way. I will let that you escape. So the verb is escaparse. That's why it's using here the reflexive T. Remember, Kakaroto is Goku. Esa reacción de energía. Remember, here they call reacción de energía the key, which is used in Dragon Ball. That is like strength signal. So that strength signal, it is moving. Once again, you have the reflexive from the verb moverse, which in this case is used in a gerund form. Se está moviendo. It is moving at a great velocity or a great speed then Goku says llegamos we are right this one is in past not in present even though it looks the same as present remember that the AR verbs when you conjugate them in the we form they look the same in present than in past here we are right hola hay alguien in the last video we checked that Bulma says the same expression hola hay alguien en casa but Goku, he says only, hay alguien. I mean, it's implicit that he's asking, is there someone home? So, is there someone home? And then Bulma is Goku. It is Goku. Está muy cerca de aquí. It is the reaction of power, the key, the strength signal. It is really muy cerca from here, de aquí. Está muy cerca de aquí. Aha, se detuvo. That aha, well, it's an expression that means like, that's right, aha, se detuvo. It stopped. The verb is detenerse, it's also reflexive, so that's why you put the se. It stopped itself, so it stopped. He says, hola, hi. Goku, Goku. Y de quién es ese niño? This is a really good sentence. You should learn the expression that way. The quien is whose kid is that. So whose is the quien? Kid is that one. Ese because kid is masculine. Acaso. We have seen through the three previous videos the expression acaso, which means could it be? Acaso ahora. Could it be that now? Trabajas. ¿Acaso ahora trabajas? Could it be that now you work? Cuidando niños. Taking care of kids. The verb of take care is cuidar. So you work taking care, the gerund form, kids. Ha ha ha. Él es mi hijo. My. He is my kid. If you're missing an accent mark, just mean he. Él es mi hijo. ¿Qué dices? What are you saying? We don't use the German form this time because it's literally what do you say? But in English you translate that. What are you saying? ¿Qué dices? Tu hijo? This one was my. Mi hijo. In this case, it is your. Your son? Tu hijo? Sí, pero... ¿Por qué están tan sorprendidos? Yes, but ¿Por qué están tan sorprendidos? Why, is a missing accent, why you are so surprised. Remember that the word tan modifies in this case an adjective. So, why are you tan so for that much surprised. Diles, 
once again, just like the very first image we saw today, mira, look, this one is diles. So the expression is in imperative di, which means say, but les implies to them. So literally, say to them or tell them, tell them or tell them hello, which is just literally to say hello to them. Hola, ¿cuál es tu nombre, pequeño? What is your, same your, that your son, tu nombre? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? What is your name? Little one, pequeño, you can use it for kids or even probably puppies or kittens, you can call it small one, pequeño. What is your name, little one? Su nombre. If we already had me for my and tu for your, well, his, or it could be her, is su. So su nombre means his name. So mi nombre would be my name, tu nombre, your name, su nombre, his name. Su nombre is Son Gohan. Well, because it's a Japanese name, they this is the whole name, Son Gohan. And then Maestro Roshi says, Son Gohan, vaya, le has puesto el mismo nombre de tu abuelo. This one, vaya, is like we have seen in the previous video, like a well of well, 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 you have given. So when it comes to names, we say poner un nombre. So you name a dog, a cat, or an object, and you say poner un nombre. This name means the little one, so you have called him the same name as your grandfather. Your father, the same name as your grandfather. So it's literally the same name of your grandfather as your grandfather. See, sí, yes, estoy impresionado. I am impressed. That's what one way you can say, I am impressed. Estoy impresionado. Nunca creí que fueras a aparecer con un hijo. This is a good expression. Nunca creí que. Unfortunately, it needs this construction that in Spanish is quite advanced. It's the subjunctive tense. But literally means I never believed or never thought that something. So, nunca creí que fueras. I never thought that you were going to because the expression fueras a comes from the verb ir a to go to so i never thought that you were going to show up aparecer means to show up with a son i never thought that you were going to show up with a son let's continue we have two minutes y bien gohan cuántos años tienes and well gohan how many years you have in English, you have years, you're not years. So in English is how old are you, but in Spanish is literally how many years you have. So cuantos años tienes? Tengo cuatro. I have four years old, but in English, I am four years old. Vaya, once again that expression. Well, a pesar de ser muy pequeño, a pesar means even though. And that's a good expression you learn, because it's never used in students that are beginners, normally for intermediate or advanced students, but if you learn it since the very beginning, kudos for that one. A pesar de ser, learn it that way. A pesar de, plus a verb. So even though you are very small, very little, very young, you know how to count very well. Saber is the second verb for to know in Spanish. And it normally addresses a deep knowledge, like counting numbers. Counting numbers is a knowledge that you acquire by practicing. So you use the verb saber. Sabes contar, you know how to count. You know counting. Si, sí, lo que sucede es que Milk es muy estricta con él. So Goku says, yes, lo que sucede. What is happening, or the real deal, or actually, so that whole expression could be translated as actually, lo que sucede es. 
So the reality is, actually is, that milk, milk is the name of the mother. Goku is the father, milk is the mother, Gohan is the son. Milk is muy estricta con él. So milk is really strict with him. And this is where we stop in this video. Thank you.